Oh, it was two questions. Oh, really? Oh my god. I didn't know that. <웃음> 2번. 공을 잘 들고 앞쪽을 봐. 이렇게 그 다음에는 어떻게 해? Oh my gosh, I got wrong. Wow. Um, I think the only tip that I can think about is Interest over Korean language has been increasing in the global society. Topic test is widely considered as a reliable test for assessing the proficiency of Korean. After the pandemic, topic examinees is rapidly rebounding. I arrived at Dongguk University where topic is taking place. Let's see what's happening in the exam site. Kenyang Chega Chibeso do Cesaro Gumburahago. YouTube에서 그냥 <웃음> 음네 uh, 최소한 토픽 4급 정도만 받은 음. 거를 그러면은 네. 오랫동안 나름 공부를 하셨는데 네. 어 그래도 조금 이 과목을 공부하는 게좀 어렵다 하시는 게 있으셨나요? 토픽을 아. 그냥 쓰기만 어려워요. 음. 조금 스트레스를 있는데 왜냐하면 우리 외국인들이 한국에서 그냥 공부를 할때 졸업하기 위해서 토픽 성적 꼭 있어야 돼요. 음, 다음에 비자 비자 니 텐로 바꾸려고 해서 네 그때는 비, 제가 지금 있는 토픽이 이제 만료 되는 거라서 보는 거예요. 어 비난돼서 한국어를 별로 못 사용해서 이렇게 한국에서 살면서 어, 실력이 정말 좋아졌어요. 음. 지금은 그냥 한국어를 공부하고 그 다음에 대학교에 입학하고 싶습니다. 음. Okay, now all the test takers are inside the building to take the topic. Thermal check was done to enter the building for prevention of COVID-19. Examinees enter their designated rooms. Meanwhile, Korea Now creators gather to take topic as well. Hi. How are you feeling? Uh, a little nervous. <laughs> what about you? Nervous. Hello everyone, this is Myung-sun Lee and hey min from Korea Now. So we're here today to take a test called Topic because interest in Korean language has been rising and we are here to take the test, right? We are. Yeah. <laughs> so we're very nervous, but before words, let's uh, talk about our level of Korean language first. So I'm a native speaker in Korean and what about you? Well, my first language is Spanish, and the second language, um, I would say that it's English, mm -hmm. and then I think Korean follows. Well, I took Topic for the first time around seven years ago, so I, I got Topic 3, which I think it was like the medium, like just in between the basic and the higher level. So then, uh, today we're going to take Topic 2, which is uh, which is not a basic level, it's rather intermediate or advanced level of language. And uh, what do you expect from today's test? Well, um, it's kind of difficult for me to expect um, a 
to, ha to have a higher level than before because I don't think my Korean got better throughout the years. So, good luck. Good luck on both of us. <laughs> Day 64회 한국어 능력 시험 2 듣기 아래 1번부터 50번까지는 듣기 문제입니다. 2번 공을 잘 들고 앞쪽을 봐. 이렇게 그 다음에는 어떻게 해? 천천히 걸어가면서 공을 굴려봐. It's confusing, maybe. <웃음> That was kind of tricky. Yeah. 약좀 사가지고 올게. 머리가 계속 아프네. Oh my gosh, I forget what they said. 최근 조사 자료를 보면 다시 들으십시오. 최근 조사 자료를 보면 여행객들이 oh, 호텔을 Oh, it was two questions. Oh, really? Oh my god. I didn't know that. Wow, I needed to be aware. <웃음> so time for two questions. 그 온도가 워낙 높아 공기를 주입한 타이어에서는 공기에 포함된 산소가 자칫 폭발을 유도할 위험이 있습니다. Okay, this one is difficult. <웃음> I almost got it wrong. I think I got it wrong. Last questions are tricky. Are you done? I'm done. Okay, then we should see the results together, right? I think I got like half of it like wrong. One, two, two three. What did you get? Oh my gosh, I got one wrong. Only one wrong? Yeah, but what did I get it wrong? What seven wrong? <laughs> the total score, mm -hmm. I got 86. 98. <gasps> wow. Okay, let's get started. One, two, two. three. You, you finished? Yeah, and I'm reviewing it. Oh my god. I won't even have time to review it. No, I, I won't even have the energy. <laughs> Oh, you're done? <laughs> really? No, 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 you can like review or like... No, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, no reviewing. So, but you, you still have like 30 more minutes, so I think like you're totally fine. No, but I don't, I don't even understand the last couple questions, oh. like, so... Okay, then let's see our scores. I'm also nervous. Like, what if I get something wrong? Okay, okay. so, One, two, two, three. three. For this one, I got all of them right. <gasps> Yay! Wow! I got eight wrong. Well, it's fine. It's better than expected, yeah. And so you got uh, 170 in total out mm -hmm. of 200. And I got 198 out of 200. Because we could not get writing done, we just uh, did it with 200 scores uh, for the maximum score. And I think you got nearly level six. I you hope did. so. I hope you did. <laughs> I think you did. It's level six, yeah. <laughs> and you for sure you had level six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm just so relieved now. Yeah. yeah, so let's talk about the test in more detail. What was the most difficult question that you remember at this moment? Well, for me, I would say that it's uh, the last question for the reading mm -hmm. part because I was already like kind of tired mm -hmm. and there are a lot of words that um, I don't like I've never read in my life or mm -hmm. never heard of it So it seems that you almost got level six, right? Mm -hmm. And you have lived in Korea for five years and you are working for a news agency. Mm -hmm. uh, like, is, is your level, do you think, enough to get, get a job and work in Korea? Obviously, in my opinion, having the level that I got mm -hmm. um, on topic for Korean language, um, it's not as comfortable as being. So I think for, 
in my case, having the Korean language um, ability that I have, which is like almost like six, mm -hmm. um, it's not gonna be as comfortable as being fluent in Korean, but I think it's gonna be enough uh, for you to just live and earn money. <laughs> Great. So then, um, do you think the level of topic actually matters a lot when it when you live in Korea? Um, as a person that uh, was born and raised in another country mm -hmm. and coming to Korea to study in the university, um, having a topic score or a high level in topic is very important to be able to graduate, especially for foreigners. Um, well, in my case, my university asked for a topic test. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of universities are asking for that. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only tip that I can think about is just going to the website, the official website of Topic, and just trying, like, completing all the tests, I, the tests that they have. Um, yeah, like mock tests, mm -hmm. just completing them, and I think that's a great way to study. And I hope you liked today's video, and don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Bye.